Today on the Pageant Cast, we have Candace Marquez. She is Ms. Belleza Latina International 2014. Today on the Pageant Cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Hi, I'm Laura Buman, Miss Universal Green 2013, and you are watching the Pageant Cast, the first internet podcast about beauty pageants. Here is your host, Tim Kretschmann. Hey, welcome to the Pageant Cast. We are so excited. We have a wonderful guest with us today. We have Candace Marquez. She's Ms. Belleza Latina International 2014. Hello, Candace. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me, Tim. Well, I'm, I'm so glad that we got to have you here on the show. Where are we calling you tonight? You're calling me from a suburb outside of Chicago, Illinois. Fantastic. Now, I, I have to say something here. I'm going to guess that your favorite color is red. Just, just a, a <laughs> guess that I'm making. Am, am I right? Am I getting close? You are close. Red is my <laughs> second favorite color. <laughs> oh, really? What, what's your favorite? Purple being the first. <laughs> Purple is your favorite. Um, I, I have to tell you something. Your room's not purple there. It's red. <laughs> <laughs> But this this is the living room. The 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 bedroom is a different color, which is purple. Okay. So yeah. Okay, I I believe you. I believe you. So we're so glad to have you on the show. Now, Deza Latina is kind of a, a sister to the Galaxy Pageants, correct? Um, yes, absolutely. And and I believe now where was it held this year? This year, the Belleza Latina International Pageant and Galaxy Pageants were held in Orlando, Florida, the first weekend of August. Okay, fantastic. That is a hot time to be down in Florida and uh, extremely difficult on hair and humidity. Uh, what was your secret to success down there with, with that going on? A huge purple can of Aquanet hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> I was so glad to hear that you found a solution and you found yourself a crown as well. That's fantastic. Now, what got you started in pageants, Candace? Well, I got started in pageantry at about the age of 12. I attended a um, school that did a charm school program. And a part of the charm school program was the pageant at the end of our program. So that's how I originally got started. did a couple of um, junior pageants, then kind of sat out of it for a little bit. And then maybe five and a half, six years ago, I got started back. My first national title was the Miss American Elegance in 2008. Fantastic. And that, that of course, was one of your pageant seasons. So... Tell me a little bit, I, I see that you're studying public relations. What got you interested in that? Honestly, pageantry. Um, needing to be able to network with a lot of different people, put myself out there, put the pageant system out there, put my pageant sisters out there and the causes that I'm passionate about. It just really made me realize that I had a talent and a knack for it and something that I enjoyed. So if I can do public relations on a larger scale, I figure, why not? Well, fantastic. Now, I also see that you're an advocate for HIV and AIDS causes. What got you started there? Well, believe it or not, um, one of my first jobs was at the age of 14. My aunt was a registered nurse, and she needed someone to work the front desk, which that's where I came in line. Um, I worked the front desk. I got paid off of her bonuses because, of course, they couldn't pay me directly as a receptionist. And mm -hmm. I saw a lot of things in terms of um, sexually transmitted diseases, HIV, AIDS, the you know, just a, a number of things. So even at a very young age, I was very aware of what happens when people don't practice safe sex or abstinence. And since that point, it's been something that I've been very passionate about. In around 2006, one of my close friend's associates was diagnosed with HIV and AIDS. Um, <clears throat> and a few years into him being diagnosed, he stopped taking his medication. So I saw his body deteriorate, so on and so forth. So those are two main reasons why I'm very passionate about the HIV and AIDS uh, awareness and prevention. Okay. Well, it, it, we're already at our first break, believe it or not. It goes so quickly, Candace. But we're going to be back with more with Candace Marquez. She is 
Ms. Bieza Latina International 2014. I'm going to continue to slaughter that title when we come back <laughs> after these few words. I hope you're enjoying the pageant cast, the internet's first podcast dedicated to the world of women and beauty pageants. This is Kate Kelly, World's Miss Tourism 2012, wishing you tiara dreams. I'm Amy Gregorio, Mrs. International 2013, and I'm inviting you to join us in Jacksonville, Florida for the Miss and Miss Teen International 2014 pageants. In Jacksonville, we're only 10 minutes away from the ocean, two hours away from Disney, and we have plenty of golf and plenty of shopping. We hope to see you there July 28th through August 2nd. And we are back. We're back with Candice Marquez. She's Ms. Bieza Latina International 2014 from the great city of Chicago in the Chicago area. What's your favorite thing to do in Chicago, Candice? Attend the Bulls game. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's my absolute favorite, going to United Center. I'm so glad that Derrick Rose is back this year, so I couldn't be happier. <laughs> That's great. I, now, Personally, my, my favorite thing is like almost every restaurant in the city is fantastic and wonderful. I haven't been to a bad one in Chicago yet, so it's always fun to uh, go there and partake. Now, I, I do want to ask you about pageants. You've been involved in pageants for a while. You, this is your, your second national title. How do you keep up to date on what's going on in pageants? Social media, um, being on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, keeping up with everyone's website. I know before there used to be um, a pageant website where you could go to, and as a matter of fact, I think it's still up and running, Pageant Center. So you can see mm -hmm. everything from Illinois to nationwide. So just really staying connected to people. And I have a ton of friends and pageant sisters that I've known throughout the years, so they always keep me up to speed. All right. Do you have a favorite other than Pageant Center, or are there other ones that are your favorite? Well, of course, the pageant cast. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. That was the correct answer. That was the correct answer. Fantastic. Good job on that. <laughs> but don't you find, like, uh, just watching Facebook, you get a lot of information right there. Now, is that where you learned about Bieza Latina, or did you know about it already, or how did that come about? Well, honestly, Bayesa Latina, that pageant system has been one that's been very dear to my heart when I started looking at pageants on a national level. It was one of those pageants where I saw the crown, I saw what they stood for, and I wanted to compete in the system five years ago. So I learned about it just searching online. Um, I think I found it through Galaxy, and then it popped up, and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So just pretty much searching. Okay. Now, that crown, is that a heavy one? Is is that a, a heavy crown on your head? Because some of those stones look pretty large, actually. It's got more airspace than, I know Galaxy is famously heavy, but yes. this one looks like it's, it's holding its own. It's intense. <laughs> it gets intense. You know, I have to have it pinned down to make sure it's that, you know, the crown of my head right. to fit the crown. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, but, you know, if I'm setting for a long time, then it, it gets a little bit more heavy. But if I'm, you know, can wear it and take it off a little bit, it's not so bad. Okay. Why don't you tell us about some of your favorite appearances over the year? Well, the first one I would have to say would be Latino Fashion Week. Um, I wanted to attend Latino Fashion Week probably for about three or four years. I finally had the opportunity to attend and not only attend, but be one of their celebrity guests. So they promoted me in that fashion as well. The second appearance was participating in the um, Live Out Loud charity fashion show, which was awesome. Okay. That was another very good one that I did. Another one that was exciting because part of my platform is health and fitness. I was one of the celebrity guests at Jazzercise. And I didn't just come and take pictures. Like, I literally got a workout. <laughs> so that was awesome. And not too long ago, I did a run also for Run for the Arts, which was amazing, too. So I probably have completed 20 appearances since August. So it's been a ball. 
And and we're recording this just before Halloween. And I, I do have to ask you, what are you going as as Halloween this year? Probably a mix of Wonder Woman meets um I don't know, pageant girl. <laughs> Well, you got the crown in both cases, but I am worried every time I see a pageant contender with a golden lasso. I just, I, I, I need to run away. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm very afraid I will tell them the truth. Anyway, I'm fantastic to get to talk to you. Now, one of the things that we like to do at the end of our interviews is we like to see your best pageant wave. And have you say Tierra Dream. So I want to see this pageant wave. Let's see your pageant wave here. Uh, you are being graded, by the way. So there there will be uh, commentary. Okay. Okay. All Go right. ahead. Let's see it. Wow. I'm, it's taking a lot of talking into. That's for sure. Oh, you got it here down. Here we go. There How nice. Go. Pageant dreams, yeah. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Tierra Dreams. We're going to say Tierra yeah, Dreams Tierra together. Tierra Dreams, too. <laughs> yeah. Really? Now, come on. <laughs> okay. It, it's been great to get to know you. That's uh, Candace Marquez. She's Ms. Bieza Latina International 2014. I think I'm, I'm actually deteriorating with uh, being able to say that title. But, well, I, I'll probably say it great the minute we stop recording. Uh, but thanks so great, much, man. Candace. It, it's great to get to know you. You know, I'm a Milwaukee boy, so I, I got to know our folks in Chicago, never know when I'm I'm coming down there and uh, going to see one of the great pageants in that area. Go, Tierra Dreams, Candace. Tierra Dreams, Tim. Thank you. Pageant cast.